HIW Wildside Wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of Wildside TV. I am the real Bobby Munson, and with me, as always, the man with the angelic voice, Papa Smokes. How you doing this week? I'm doing all right, Munson. How y'all doing out there? We're looking for another fantastic night of wrestling action, and we've got a card that's jam-packed with all the wrestling action you're ever going to need. Our opening belt this this week on Wildside TV is a match that's big enough to be a main event most of the time, but it's going to start us off... Uh, HIW Grand Canadian Champion Sean Moore going to be doing battle with Bobby Sharp. And Bobby Sharp going to be looking like a much different man after having a little bit of a uh, haircut change uh, since his match with his wife Catball and he's recently on Wildside TV. And a little bit of a haircut is putting it lightly. He's got well less than half than he had before. And as you see the champ making his way to the ring, this is a non-title match here tonight, folks. But I know that uh, Bobby Sharp, you know, if he picks up a victory here tonight, he's going to be staking his claim towards an opportunity at that Grand Canadian Championship. And Sean Moore been on an absolute tear since becoming champion, uh, managing to defend his title successfully and coming up victor victorious in all his other matchups as well too. Here's a man that's uh, got, you know, some anger problems behind him, and he's going to want to take those out on our champ here tonight. Oh, come on. I was looking forward to seeing the haircut. What's, uh, what's this deal covering up here tonight? resounding sea of booze from our fans here in Saskatoon. This has got to be outside of, you know, Los Rudos, the most hated man here in Wildside Wrestling Pop Smoke. Yeah, you got a good point there. He didn't endear himself to the fans with his feud with Kat Von Hees over this past year, but uh, the Lion Warrior is, uh, is a sound wrestler in the ring. He means business. Uh, this will be a big test for Sean Moore. I'm sure the Matt Messiah definitely going to be up to the task here tonight. Uh, never stepped down from any opponent that's been put in front of him. I'm not even sure at this point why Bobby Sharp even attempts to speak on the microphone because he knows the fans in Saskatoon here tonight aren't going to let him get a word in. Time that microphone meets his lips, the fans start booing. You didn't have to take this, Bobby. Just take off. Yeah, just go ahead, take off like the coward you are too. Yeah, that's not what I meant. You know, he does the Bobby name not proud. That's for sure. Kind of reminds me of Bad Bobby anyway. Yeah, I want to call more matches with Bad Bobby. That was fun. Yeah, well, hopefully that won't ever happen again. I apologize to the fans for letting that one slip last week. I'm going to try to keep Bad Bobby at bay for the rest of the rest of our time here with Wildside TV. But don't worry, Bobby Sharp. Nobody's listening to you. I 
Enough of the talk. Take that damn thing off your head and show us your hair already. You can see the fans of Saskatoon really getting under the skin of Bobby Sharp at this point. It's working too. That pretty little haircut for Bobby Sharp, Papa Smokes. He looks a little bit more respectable than he ever has in the past. That's for damn sure. Well, it's not quite the lion's mane that he usually is, but you don't have to laugh. Well, I enjoy laughing at the expense of people named Bobby Sharp, that's for sure. And I love watching him get kicked in the face by Sean Moore as this one gets underway finally. And man, I'm pretty sure that a few people were on their way to La La Land falling asleep having to listen to this scumbag talk. Matt Messiah is just going to shut him up and get on with the wrestling, which is what everybody came here to see tonight. And we're going up and over. What a maneuver from the Matt Messiah, Sean Moore, taking Bobby Sharp down. Wow. Back inside the ring now. It's a good thing Bobby Sharp didn't uh, put his put the what's left of his hair on the line here tonight, or else he uh, might be looking a little shiny on that chrome dome of his afterwards. I mean, our Grand Canadian Champion is just absolutely on fire in the opening stages of this bout. He might look to put Bobby Sharp away early here tonight, Papa Smokes. Yeah, it looks like he's putting the pedal to the metal right now. There we go. Go for that three count. Whew, we were close. Two and three quarters there. Bobby Sharp's going to need to rethink his game here tonight. I have to admit, Bobby Sharp just doesn't look like he's been himself since that haircut by his wife, Kat Von Hees. He seems, uh, he seems a bit sluggish, he seems a bit tentative, and uh, he's got to take the upper hand in this match. That move will help right there. 
And he's back in it now. And you're going to have to do a hell of a lot more than that to keep the Matt Messiah down for the count of three. That might be a good start though right there. Sean Moore now looking worse for wear as he is on the outside of the ring and Bobby Sharp calling Alexander Prime, our referee for the evening, into the ring looking for that 10 count victory. I guess Bobby Sharp now wanting to go back out there and get things going on the outside of the ring. A count out victory just not enough for Bobby Sharp here tonight. He wants to make the champ pay. A lot of frustrations for this man to take out, and he's going to take them all out in the ring here tonight. You know, and speaking of that uh, matchup recently, uh, Bobby Sharp's opponent in that matchup and his wife Cap Von He's going to be in action on Wild Side TV next week. So, all you Cap Von Heath fans, be excited. Because she will be joining us next week as she takes on the Dixie Dragon right here on Wildside TV. Cat Von, he's easily one of the more popular superstars in Wildside Wrestling here, which I guess is the reason why Bobby Sharp is so despised around here too. Very much so, but, but you know, we have a plethora of big names here in Wildside TV, Papa Smokes, and it keeps the fans coming back each and every week. We also have a plethora of good uh, good people on the microphone here in Wildside TV as well too. I mean, you got myself, we've got Papa Smokes, we've got JG Muller, and yep, that's about it. Yeah. You know, last week a new GM added to Wildside Wrestling here as well too. And you know what, Papa Smokes, I think, uh, you know, he did absolutely everything he could to keep things under control, especially with uh, Los Rudos lurking around last week trying to, you know, overcome their suspension, so to speak. But that suspension now continuing on thanks to our current GM. Hopefully he, uh, he uh, asserts some authority and does something about this Bobby Sharp character while he's at it too, because, you know, we need to straighten out these characters we got lurking around here in Wild Side Wrestling. Bobby Sharp really now taking it to our Grand Canadian Champion, Sean Moore, keeping him grounded, not allowing him the opportunity to get back up and have a fight with him. And laying the boots to him, too. Now Prime's got a problem with this, too. I'm not really sure if he knows how to referee or not. Well, again, our, uh, our regular referee out of town at the moment, so Alexander Prime... Grac graciously, graciously stepping in here to be our referee for the evening and last week and also next week here on Wildside TV. As we're rolling through the month of December here, holiday season coming up, Papa Smokes. Uh, what uh, what do you figure you're going to get for Christmas this year? You've been a good boy, Santa going to bring you something nice? Yeah, last year I got a couple cartons of smokes. That's about the best gift you could get me, so I'm hoping for more. I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to the big man and see if he can bring a couple presents here for Papa Smokes this Christmas season. But the fans of HIW can rejoice because you're going to be given the ultimate Christmas gift this season as we wind up the year. Papa Smokes and I are going to be giving out the Wild Side TV Awards and also bringing you another edition of the Best of Wild Side TV as well. So, wonderful Christmas gift for all our fans right there, Papa Smokes. Yeah, you got it, fans. So you always get it good when you have... Uh Bobby Munson and Papa Smokes kicking around. And don't worry, I'll make sure that Bad Bobby does not join in on the fun of those two episodes. Despite the fact that I'm sure Papa Smokes would love for that to happen. And what does Bad Bobby want for Christmas? I don't think Bad Bobby gets anything for Christmas. I'm pretty sure that a lump of coal is all that SOB ever gets. Yeah. 
Now, Better Bobby, on the other hand, that guy gets all the Christmas gifts he ever wants because that guy is good all year round. Nothing but ring respect shown by that young man. What does Sean Moore got to do to get himself back into this one? Bobby Sharp has been firmly in control for the better part of this matchup. You see the uh, life being sucked right out of him with this uh, rest hold here. Hey, it looked like he was fading fast for a bit there. Now Sean Moore trying to use the cheers of the fans to maybe get himself to his feet, get himself out of this hold. There we go, the champion showing a little bit of life now, fighting his way back into this one. It might have only been temporary though. Oh, wonderful! Great counter there from Sean Moore, taking Bobby Sharp down. And we have got a match on our hands now, Papa Smokes. Both men down, referee starts his count in the middle of the ring. And despite what Papa Smokes thinks, I think Alexander Prime doing a fantastic job filling in as our referee. You would say that whether he was or wasn't. Well, you better be careful there, Pop Smokes, because being half owner of this company, Alexander Prime can uh, replace either one of us here on Wild Side TV at any time he wants to. So, there, watch, uh, watch how you respect that man. Oh, we had a close call right there. Two and three quarters, maybe even nine tenths. You're telling me to watch it tonight, Munson. You just spoke out your ass kicked by Los Rudos. That was awesome. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. But once again, I have to uh, have to say they got Munson Papa Smokes. I mean, nobody lays their hands on Bobby. They laid their hands on you. You were just lucky that the intelligence arrived when they did. We'd be scraping you off the mat with a spatula right now. And, and, and what would you do without me here on Commentary Pop Smokes? I mean, I think deep down you're happy that I made it out of there okay. We'd have to do commentary in your hospital room, I guess. The strength of Bobby Sharp to catch Sean Moore there. That might just be it. You can't get much closer than that right there. Bobby Sharp just about picking up a victory over the HIW Grand Canadian Champion. Look at that. Even when I'm not down at ringside, Papa Smokes, the fans start chanting, Bobby! Bobby! You know you love that sound. I'm not sure that that's what they're talking about, but uh, you can think that. Well, here we've seen this vicious pile driver from Bobby Sharp before. Well, good thing we're not going to have to see it again because the Matt Messiah getting out of that one. Look at that strength right there. I think the wear and tear on these two bodies, they wouldn't be possible for to see things like that this late in the matchup, but these two are going to prove otherwise. We were with the backslide, the two count. Beautiful kick oh. there from Sean Moore. Just about taking Bobby Sharp's head off. Wow. And there it is, Papa Smokes. We have a victor. 
No surprise there, that running knee to the face was absolutely devastating. Sean Moore, the Mount Messiah, wins here tonight. Your Grand Canadian Champion remains on this absolute roll that he's been on here in 2018. Can anybody stop this man moving forward? That's a great question, but you know there's a line of challengers waiting in that back, waiting in Regina. Everybody wants a piece of the Grand Champion. Everyone wants a piece of Sean Moore. By the look of it so far, he's willing to meet any challenge. Definitely has been, and it, what a wonderful challenge it was here tonight. I mean, Bobby Sharp coming very close to picking up a victory over the champion, so take nothing away from his efforts inside the squared circle here this evening. You might say he was just a hair short of winning that one. <laughs> oh, the clever Papa Smokes. Do you stay up all night writing that one? Anyways, uh, as we wrap up this match up here, and before we head to our main event, we always like to thank our sponsors here on Wildside TV. So once again, we're going to cut to Team Flex Appeal and that wonderful, wonderful commercial that they've got for our great sponsors at Glitch Gifts and Novelties, who definitely can help you out this Christmas season with your Christmas shopping. I just got this it's like some spray I don't know exactly what it does but I mean I was thinking maybe it's like a belt shine or something so it doesn't really, doesn't do that good of a job yeah, that, that's not maybe right there mm -hmm. well how, how about wait how about I or it just smells like I don't know like, maybe it's like an eye drop or something like, like what do you mean like here here ah! It's it's eye drop spray. All right, I swear to God, it says right here. It says, "Do not put in your." Oh. Oh. Ah! Why would you do that? Oh, I, I, All I can see is unicorns and glitter. Uh, oh, where is this from? Uh, this is oh. from Glitch Gifts and Novelties. Ah! Oh, this is the worst store ever. And it's on thirty third. Oh. So yes, Glitch Gifts and Novelties on 33rd Street here in Saskatoon, one of our wonderful sponsors, along with the great folks at Speckle Belly's Bar and Grill and also Bartari as well too. So definitely check out our wonderful sponsors. And hey, if you're someone who's looking to maybe get into sponsoring Wildside TV, then you know, give us a shout. We'd love to bring on some more sponsorship as well too. So get in contact with Wildside Wrestling and get yourself a sponsorship deal here with the greatest, most talked about wrestling organization in all of North America. But it's time now, Pop Smokes, for a main event and the Wildside Provincial Championship going to be on the line. Our new Wildside champion, Ace Riviera, going to be taking on Cannonball Kelly. And yes, if the fans did not catch it, Ace Riviera cashed in his guaranteed contract there just recently and took that title from Davey O'Doyle after Davey O'Doyle won it from Sheik Shabazz. And Cannonball Kelly, an absolute favorite here with the fans, enjoying a beer from one of the fans, and hey, even giving the camera a bit of a kiss as he heads down to the ring here. We've said it before, this is a big man, but man, Papa Smokes, he can move with the best of them. You got that right. I'd love to see you try to do one of those flips over the top rope there, Papa Smokes. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. We're going to get a uh, resounding sea of booze once again. The Saskatoon fans not going to be pleased with our new Wildside Provincial Champion. Many will feel that the title was basically handed to him with that contract that he cashed in and that he never truly earned it like everybody else has before. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, East Riviera has had a number of awesome matches throughout uh, HIW history, but... Uh 
whenever the opportunist, as soon as he had that briefcase in his hand, you know he was looking at the champions in HIW, you know he was scouting them out and just waiting for a time to cash that in. Of course he cashed it when Davey O'Doyle had just won the belt, but was weak after the match. That's how he got the 1-2-3 and that's why he's the new provincial wild side champion. And did you see that sign? I love it. The Queen of Spades, Ace Riviera. What a great sign for our fans down at ringside. No respect. And there, Ace might have ripped the sign up, but Cannonball Kelly going to greet that fan down at ringside, letting him know that he's going to lay the beat down on Ace Riviera here in this main event tonight. And man, if Cannonball Kelly manages to pick up a win and become the new champion here tonight, Papa Smokes, we have got one interesting shakeup for the Wild Side Provincial Championship. Because Sheik Shabazz never got his rematch clause with Davy O'Doyle. Davy O'Doyle hasn't yet to have his rematch clause with Ace Riviera. So if we throw Cannonball Kelly in the mix, it's going to make things quite interesting moving forward here on Wild Side TV. And we're going to have no shortage of title matches, that's for sure. And we know next week, our opening bell on next week's episode of Wild Side TV will actually be a rematch between Davy O'Doyle and Sheik Shabazz. The winner of that will become the next number one contender to the Wild Side Provincial Champion. Our new GM, Mike McGuire, making that matchup official and making sure that we get these opportunities for people in the back to earn their chance at the titles here in HIW Wild Side. Saskatoon's champion. I don't think the people of Saskatoon are going to quite agree with that comment. You have to admit it has a nice ring to it. You want to hear a nice ring? The nice ring will be at the end of the night when Cannonball Kelly puts Ace Riviera down for the three count and that bell rings and we crown ourselves a new wild side provincial champion here today. Don't be so sure, Munson. Ace Riviera is very wily character he's not going down without a fight yeah but he just went down like he ran himself into a brick wall Papa Smokes that chop could be heard from blocks away same with that drop on Ace's body Wow. That might be mistaken, Papa Smokes, but it looks like, uh, is Ace Riviera growing some peach fuzz around his face there? Ace Riviera is the provincial champion. He does whatever he wants. And as always here in Wildside Wrestling, when the ring can't quite contain all the action, we've got outside the ring set up, ready to go. Make sure to get yourself down to a live wild side wrestling show. Nobody ever leaves disappointed and you're right in the heart of the action every time you're here. Jeez, good God, Cannonball Kelly smashing Ace Riviera down on the hardest part of the ring apron. I think Ace Riviera is on Dream Street here at the moment, Papa Smokes. And Alexander Prime not wanting to make the 10 count as these two fight outside the ring. He wants to see this one go to a decision, just like all the fans here in attendance tonight in Saskatoon. And he'll favor Cannonball Kelly until he gets the result he wants to. I have no doubt about that after watching his previous matches. You've really been on a kick lately, just tearing into the half-owner of HIW, Alexander Prime, about his refereeing abilities, Pop Smoke. Not only his refereeing abilities, his GM abilities as well. He's, he's brutal. He uh, suspends the top stars in the company. I, I don't think he's fit for the job. 
I think it was long overdue getting Los Rudos suspended. And just like it's been long overdue, the Ace Riviera got the beat down he deserves. And that's what he's getting here in this matchup for Cannonball Kelly as we are on the outside. And now tables are being involved too. Oh, good God. Ace wow. Riviera double stomped the back of Cannonball Kelly. And as you can see, everybody scattering sideways, Papa Smokes. I'm pretty sure even the hard cam there went a little sideways at some point during that whole event. Our equipment hasn't even been safe the last couple of outings here at the Cosmo Hall. That's one thing about Cannonball Kelly. He, he'll use every inch of the Cosmo Center here during his match and uh, much to the fans' delight. Cannonball Kelly trying to shake off the cobwebs on the outside of the ring as the count now happening. And I thought you said that Alexander Prime was going to favor Cannonball Kelly. We might see a count out victory here, Papa Smokes. No, oh, no, he's just making it look good for the fans. As, as you can see, like I mentioned before, the hard cam took a little bit of a shake. So as you see, it's a little out of position on the hard cam shots there. But that's what happens with... Uh, Filming these things live, Papa Smokes, we can't contain everything or control everything. So therefore, stuff happens, and sometimes the camera goes sideways. This standing room only crowd, I'm not surprised that there's not a lot of room for a camera to stand uh, uh, untouched throughout these uh, cards. Honestly, we're lucky that the cameras survived the last two outings here for Wild Side Wrestling. Yeah. Oh, Ace taking Cannonball down hard there. That's it. This mean streak of Ace Riviera has really done him some wonders here in 2018. He has been on an absolute tear, winning the vast majority of all of his singles matches here and now with the wild side championship in hand i mean he can pull off another victory here tonight papa smokes again this is one guy we're gonna have to watch out for here on wild side tv and when his tag team of sean were the world-class renegades uh ran its course and broke up uh, that's when ace riviera seemed to get very serious in his mind seemed to have his uh singles run on his mind and uh, he's never looked back since he's been on a winning streak all the way up to uh, cashing in that briefcase for a title shot and uh, taking the title off of Davey O'Doyle and in a sense like Ace Riviera has been the only thorn in the side of Sean Moore as of late too uh, picking up victories against the Matt Messiah uh, something that nobody else on the roster has really been able to do lately which speaks wonders for our wild side provincial champion. I mean, even though giving up size here, you wouldn't you wouldn't realize how much smaller he is than Cannonball Kelly because he is putting up a fight like a big man inside that ring here tonight. Yeah, he's all technique as well. That that speaks a lot to, in terms of size. He can he can perform any move in that ring with uh, with a lethal precision. A lot of that comes down to the training that Ace Riviera endures each and every week. I mean, this man, I mean, despite the way he presents himself and his demeanor and stuff, Papa Smokes, I mean, he is putting in a lot of work each and every week in order to be able to be as vicious and methodical as he is inside that squared circle. I think I'd enjoy his work more if he just smile every once in a while, though. Smiles don't win matches, Munson. No, but smiles bring joy to each and every one of the fans there at ringside, and that's what we're all about. We're trying to bring joy and happiness to the people in attendance, Papa Smokes. Speak for yourself, Munson. 
Oh, 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 oh Cannonball Kelly! Wow, the throw to the corner there. Destructive. Cannonball now getting back to his feet. Line and Ace Riviera up. There we go. Some hard strikes coming from the big man. Giving that skull a little bit of a crack. Dropping the elbow. Could that be all? Not quite. Split second away from crowning a new wild side provincial champion here this evening. Cannonball Kelly definitely needs to get back into this right away. Do not give Ace Riviera the chance to recuperate. Well, talk about brawling. We got a straight up slugfest in the middle of the ring now. Wonder if it would be wise for Ace Riviera to be trying to slug it out with a guy the size of Cannonball Kelly. <laughs> Guess when you throw yeah. a headbutt like that, it doesn't matter. And the big man, the one to go down first, surprisingly. And compliments to Ace Riviera and his toughness to be standing toe to toe in a slugfest with a guy the size of Cannonball Kelly like that, Papa Smokes. Yeah, that took a lot out of both men. We're going to see if they can make it to their feet for the. Uh, continuation of this match. They're both guys pretty slow on the go at this point. Yeah, Alexander Prime obviously reluctant to want to count both these men down. We don't want this one to end in a no contest or double count out. We want this one to be finished cleanly here tonight. Oh. oh, yeah. That's a reversal. Oh, and not enough to put the big man away. Ace Riviera has got to be asking himself what can he possibly do to take Cannonball Kelly down for the three count now. He's thrown just about everything in his arsenal at the big man here tonight. He's getting to the top rope now, waiting for Cannonball Kelly to get back to his feet. Oh! oh. <laughs> that didn't work out so well for Ace. No, it did not. This is Cannonball Kelly's opportunity. It could be all over. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. You, you don't get closer than that without raising the hand of the Cannonball Kelly and crowning him the new champion right there. Ace Riviera is lucky to still be in this thing. And now back on that ring apron, what kind of damage can be done here? Bad intentions in mind here now. Oh no! I don't think there's any room for recovery after this one. Ace Riviera is down and on the outside of the ring. I think the fans now chanting that Ace is dead and he very well might be after a maneuver like that one. Definitely the correct move by the referee to come out and check on the welfare of Ace Riviera. He hasn't moved since that uh, muscle buster package on the ring apron. But Cannonball Kelly going to need to get the champ back inside the ring if he wants to look to become the new champion. Because again, champion's advantage here tonight. You cannot defeat the champion by taking the count out victory. Yeah, he's just going to throw Ace back into the ring. No way! How did Ace kick out of that one? 
barely getting the shoulder up. Ace is in tough here in his first title defense. He's, he's got to find a way to come out of this. Come on, Cannonball Kelly. You've got him where you want him. There we go. The fans excited. Signal in for a Cannonball, hopefully. They're not quite getting what they want, though. Ace getting out of the ring. That's that veteran instinct of Ace Riviera to manage to get himself out of that one. Oh wow, me driving Cannonball's face to the mat, that's going to slow him down. No! Oh, man! <laughs> Double stomp from the top rope! Dear God. That is it, Papa Smokes. Wow. Still your HIW Wildside Provincial Champion, Ace Riviera, and what a match that was. I mean, you know, we talked about earlier our best of the year coming up. I mean, that has got to be one that's going to be in contendership to be on our minds when it comes to picking the best matches of this year. What a fight. Absolutely. Cannonball Kelly took Ace Riviera to, to his absolute limit as champion. He, so many two and a half counts, so many near finishes there took the uh, leaping knee to the back of the head to, uh, of Cannonball to put him down for that 1-2-3. Wow, what a fantastic match. It was definitely a great match up here tonight. It's still your Wild Side Provincial Champion is Ace Riviera. So we'll find out next week on Wild Side TV who's going to be number one contender between Sheik Shabazz and Davey O'Doyle as they go at it one more time. Also next week, Cap Von He's taking on the Dixie Dragon. So make sure... You tune in next week to Wildside TV. Thank you for tuning in this week, though. As always, I've been the real Bobby Munson, and with me, as always, the man with the angelic voice, and we will see you next week right here on YouTube. See you next week.